Hi guys, I just wanted to pop in and say hello to all of you. I kind of like, I enjoy coming on here and chatting with all of you and talking about my life and whatnot and not having to do a tarot reading. So I, I hope you don't mind, but I, I liked it. So I was like, you know what? I have to go to the post office and drop off some orders and perfect time to stop by and chat. Um, okay, so first of all, I am so damn tired. Oh my god, I'm tired. Is this what it's like getting old? Um, older, I should say. Uh, man, your schedule gets wonky for like four days and you, it takes you, what, four weeks to recover? This is ridiculous. Uh, we didn't even do anything. My sister was here for like three, four days and all I did was go over to their home where they were staying and visited we didn't do anything we didn't go anywhere I mean I guess we went to my mom's but we didn't do anything there physically I mean we just sat and chatted with her but I just feel like I am drained and so I guess it's just your routine getting out of whack and you know I was still packing orders and trying to squeeze in reads and private readings and so I, I, I don't know I guess just the action of getting up earlier and going out and staying all day just wore me out so yesterday I was so tired they actually left yesterday morning but we said our goodbyes the night before and um, uh, lost my train of thought well yeah so yesterday I didn't do anything um, I literally went out and got some pizzas I slept in I went out and got some pizzas for dinner and came home and ate and I was so tired at one point I, I just decided to lay down in the bed at like 5 30 in the evening and you know I, I I was out I didn't wake up until 8 30 at night and I, I woke up and I I grabbed a, a bottled water and I laid back down and played a couple games on my phone because I do have that slight addiction so did that and watched a little bit of YouTube and I was back out again. So I think at this point in time, I'm just dragging ass today because I slept too much, I guess. I don't know. I have to kind of force myself back into my routine. And so I did want to just pop on and let you guys know that I will have a video up in a couple of days. I don't know if I'm going to get to it. I, definitely not today. Probably not tomorrow because... Um, for those of you who don't know, I also have an Etsy shop where I make candles and wax melts and room sprays. And right now I am almost out of, I'm almost out of, um, wax melt samples. I always give out samples with all the orders and I'm down to about 10. So I need to, I need to make some samples tonight. And I also have, um, I also have an order coming today with my candle wax and some more of my Christmas fragrance oils that I ordered and I need to you know get the wax melts I don't need to get the wax melts done with that I still have time to do that but I, I need to get those candles done so that they can cure and I can get them up and um, I might as well just make the wax melts and all of my samples and, and get everything done and then I can kind of you know sit down and relax a minute and then I also have to make a couple batches of fire starters so I, I really need to I the main thing is those samples so I need to get those samples done I'm behind on laundry uh, place is a mess uh, I did just it's ridiculous so <laughs> so I will have a video up soon um, I just don't know when but anyway uh, lots of stuff going on on YouTube we have Kylie Rodney's you know results that came out we have baby Quentin and it's just a whole mess and I'll be honest with you I am um, I absolutely believe that the fire cam footage is legit I'm not one of those I'm not I'm, I don't think that it was tampered with or at least I hope not but I, I you know we know that a car we know Kylie's car was found in Prosser right so you know, we know that a car went in there at some point, and it makes sense that it happened that night. You know, law enforcement just missed it, I guess. But my my thought on it is that we don't know who was driving her car. We don't know if it was her. We don't know if it was someone else. We don't know if she was a passenger or she was in the back hatch. We have we have no idea. You can't make that out from that footage. And you also see other cars in that area now. I'm looking at that footage and I'm I'm baffled as to how people can see so much 
you know, this person backed out and did this and this person went that way. I, I don't see any of that. I just see little lights moving. But there are other lights in that area. And what I want to know is how close are those other lights? And did somebody see something? Did somebody even try to go in and maybe rescue her and, you know, it was too dark. They, they couldn't do it and gave up. Or did somebody do this intentionally? We don't know. We don't know. And if somebody did see something and they didn't report it, you know, that's a problem. And then what happened to all of the, you know, sightings from Kylie's friends that said that she was absolutely beyond intoxicated, that she was stumbling all over the place and she was so drunk that I didn't, you know, I'm a smart girl. I'm not going to ride with anybody that drunk. I got another ride home. So we heard that, right? We heard that for weeks, how drunk Kylie was. And come to find out, apparently she wasn't, wasn't that, that drunk. I don't know. There's just some, there, there's some questions. I just feel like, I feel like this release was very strategically timed because they know YouTubers right now are absolutely divided right down the middle on this, this fire cam footage. And, you know, a lot of people right now do believe that this just was a tragic accident. And so what better time to release what better, what better time to release um, accidental findings, right? So that, that's kind of how I feel about it because, you know, we weren't supposed to hear anything until November 2nd, so that bothers me. Um, but there, there's still so many unanswered questions. We, we cannot tell from that video footage who was in that car. Was it just Kylie? Was it someone else? We don't know. We can't really tell if anybody else seen it. If anything, that video footage makes me think that somebody else could very well have seen it. And that's a problem. So, I don't know. Just just a lot of ridiculousness. A lot of people are talking about the trucky way. You know, it's like a horror film. It's like a, you know, somebody mentioned in another comment one time. It's like a Stephen King novel. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I was hoping that with all these other agencies, including the FBI, with them being involved, that there would be, you know, some due diligence happening behind the scenes, but I, I guess not. So it's weird. And then we have baby Quentin, um, you know, it's sounding, again, I keep thinking back to that Ten of Swords. This was a pattern of events. This was a pattern of behavior. This Whatever this was, this has been this has been happening more often than not. Um, you know, it sounds like from what I'm hearing, I was watching a little bit of Dolly this morning, and uh, it sounds like from what he said, and he doesn't know for for sure, you know, but you know, maybe there was some ill feelings towards Quentin's biological father. She didn't like him, and for that reason, I guess didn't like Quentin. Uh, you know, it, it is just, it's sickening. It's sickening. I, I would hope that they have eyes on her. I know that they keep saying that they don't know where she is. Uh, I hope that you do. I hope that you're just saying that to say that, but I hope that you have eyes on her 24 seven because this woman is capable of anything. Could she run? Absolutely. Could she harm herself? Absolutely. Anything's possible. If you're, if you're capable of doing what you probably did to your own child or anybody for that matter, you're pretty much capable of anything. Now, I find her to be a little bit too um, narcissistic and, and, and too self-absorbed and uh, too much of a coward to do anything to herself. Uh, I, I would see her running before I would see her harming herself, but y you never know. I mean, if you are faced with knowing that you're going to prison for the rest of your life, and maybe when you get to prison, you are going to have to be watching your back because you killed a baby, uh, you might you you might be willing to take that chance and, and harm yourself. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I hope that they're watching. I hope that they know exactly what they're doing. I feel like they know probably what happened and, you know, what led to Quentin's passing. Um, I think that that is what led them to do the forensic testings on the house. 
and I think that probably from those test results they are you know making that you know that announcement that he's no longer alive which is horrible it's horrible then it sounded like they were inside the house having a, a, a dinner or a fair what the hell how could you eat how, how would you eat um, I don't know it's just it, it's it's weird and and grandma Billy Billy Joe Billy Joe uh, I, I'm a little bit confused I don't know how this stuff works I don't know when you have you know custody of your children you know if your your children are removed from your care and they are placed in someone else's care can you still live with that person can you still be around those children I see I don't, I don't know how that works so I find it a little odd that you know Lelena and her boyfriend were living there when you know these children were obviously living there as well and yet she didn't have custody so you know does that mean that grandma might have some legal issues herself? I mean, maybe. I mean, you had a babysitter like 500 feet down the road that you could have dropped those kids off at any time. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that that babysitter uh, would probably be willing to watch those kids anytime, right? Uh, anytime. If grandma knew she was going to be out of town for an X amount of time and those kids we're going to be alone with Lelena and she knew how Lelena was and she did know how she was because she has come out and talked about how she's a liar and all of that stuff. So she knew. She knew who she was leaving those children with. So in my opinion, grandma is no longer grandma is no more capable of taking care of those children than Leilana is or was. Grandma is in the same category in my opinion because she was neglectful in caring for them at the very least she was neglectful and so when it results in someone's death then yeah there's got to be some consequences there's got to be some consequences um it, it's just a mess uh, we have such a failing system in this country we have a mental health crisis we have overworked caseworkers and social workers we don't have enough of them um, you know I don't even blame the individual caseworkers or social workers that we're dealing with this family because you know there, there's just not enough to go around and so their caseload is you know unreasonable and so families get you know they, they slip through the cracks that's unfortunately what happens I don't know we've got a really bad problem in this country uh, we've got you know these shooters that that come out you can't even go to Walmart or any store for that matter now that you can't even go watch a movie and not think okay where's my nearest exit just in case somebody comes in here with an AK-47 I need to know how to get out of here I mean that that's awful and I don't necessarily know if it's just you know a, a US problem because I don't really see I mean yeah other countries have problems but do they have problems as bad as we have? Because I don't see, you know, mass shootings happening in other countries as frequently as they happen here. You know, our education system sucks. Uh, you know, it just, it, it's a mess. It's a mess. I don't know. The, these cases are just happening too, too frequently, too frequently. I don't know what's wrong with us what's wrong with us what's wrong with this this country what's I don't know but anyway I didn't mean to just babble on and digress um, I am at the store so I am gonna head in and get the few things that I need to get and head on home and try to force myself to get some things done today and get back into my my routine maybe I'll do some laundry although I hate starting laundry later on in the day that's a morning thing for me I like to get up and start it right away and get it done and get it out of the way um, so yeah so I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and um, I will see you guys soon so thanks for listening and thanks for chatting and thanks for commenting all right I'll talk to you later bye